Hello, Scorpios. This is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. If you are not able to get on there and access the different readings, um, you are more than welcome to email me at allforone.1forall74 at gmail. All right, guys. So let's see what's going on, what's been going on for you guys in the recent past. Hmm. Ace of Wands. Um, attracted to someone, I feel. Starting over. Maybe wanting to date. I'm getting strong, though, like there's something that you're trying to you want to offer to someone, somebody that you're attracted to, somebody that you are. But it's not just a sexual attraction is what I'm feeling here. Hmm. Maybe you've been dating and, you know, you've been like dealing with different people or one other person that you haven't been that serious with, but there's something I'm feeling um, as far as change here, okay, where you felt like you were once um, carrying a lot of weight, like you were responsible for a lot of, of, of different things and different areas like children, um, work, your home, you know, maybe extended family even, and I'm feeling like there's something um, new coming in for you guys. Hang on one second. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, there, there's, there's some, something that I'm feeling that's like transforming in you guys here. Okay. Let's see what's been going on with them. Seven of Cups. Scorpio energy here. Maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that is significant to you guys. You're significant to them too. Um, they don't really know what to do about you. I do feel like, you know, there are some options that are on the table for this person. But other than you. Okay, and does not have to be an intimate situation, but there's definitely other things that they could definitely put their hands into. But what I feel is constantly like in the front of their mind is a situation concerning you guys. Okay, that's what's been going on for them. Let's see what's keeping you guys from this person. What's keeping Scorpio from this person? Maybe there is... Maybe there you don't see any growth in this situation. Maybe you feel like, you know, you guys can't start over. Maybe you are working on yourself. Or maybe there is somebody else that is involved in this situation. Um, maybe a child's mother or father. Maybe there's another individual here currently that you guys have started over with. Taurus, Aries, Libra energy there. Or there's somebody else that you want to start over with. Okay. For some of you guys, I'm feeling like, you know, you've kind of outgrown this person, this situation. Hmm. What's keeping them from Scorpio? The Four of Wands. Aries. I'm feeling like this person is either they're currently in a connection, which I'm not really feeling that definitely could be. But what I'm feeling more so is that 
they're focused on their their own stability, their personal stability, um, getting things together, getting their house in order, basically. That they're comfortable doing what they're doing right now. And that's being by themselves is what I'm getting here. They're not really out looking for an intimate connection. I'm thinking that, you know, their home life is happy. They're happy, they're stable, they're grounded um, with what they're doing right now. And I'm getting, they don't want to break up that stability by involving themselves in an intimate connection with you or anyone else at this point, to be honest with you. I don't think that they're closed off to it, but I don't think that they are like eager either. Okay. What's currently going on for Scorpio? You guys have the seven of cups as well. I'm feeling like there's, you guys really don't know what it is that you want truly. I think you do have options, okay? And I'm feeling more like there's an individual here, maybe an Aries individual, that you guys really feel strongly for. You feel passionate about this person. There's definitely a spark there. Um, chemistry between you and this individual, but I'm feeling there's there's maybe somebody else in the picture, or either you feel like you know you guys do not have room to grow together. Maybe you're on different paths, but there's definitely a level of you know, not really knowing exactly what it is that you want to do or pursue here. I'm feeling strongly that there's a there's another parent involved in a situation um, for a lot of you guys where you have a child with someone, but you have this strong chemistry with someone else. And the feelings are a little confusing for you currently. Okay. And this energy can go vice versa. It could be the other person that's, um, you know, has the other parent involved in their life. And they're feeling this very strong connection with you. Um, but they're confused. Like, you know, they're being pulled. Okay. Either you or the other person. What's currently going on for them? Four of Cups. Nothing. Um, they think about reuniting, but they don't think about it seriously. They don't study it too long. They don't stay on it. Um... But what I'm also getting is that they're waiting on an offer. They're, they're not moving. They're stable with the two fours there. But I feel like they would definitely respond if something was offered to them. Because I'm almost getting that they want you guys to offer something to them. Okay. Cancer Energy. What's influencing Scorpio? Your card, death, ending something, changing, transformation. Hmm. For some of you, I feel like you are strongly with somebody that you share a child with. But that's not truly the individual that you want to be with for some of you. It's the other person.
Maybe you started something with an ex that you share that you share a child with, but that's not where your interest truly lies, is what I'm getting. It's with the other person. I'm getting strongly that, you know, a lot of you are wanting to come out of conflict with someone. You also see this person as somebody that is very appealing. Um, somebody that you would like to, to be with. I think this person is ideal. Something happened here, but I'm, I'm strongly getting that there's something that you guys, something that you're wanting to end, something that you want to transform in this situation, wanting to end a situation and then transform another situation. What's influencing them? What's influencing them? Power, Scorpio energy. Something very shocking. But I'm getting enlightenment more than anything. Awakened energy. It's like this person has come into like a newfound knowing. And maybe, you know, in this situation, there was, there was a struggle, there was a breakup, there was, there was something that ended abruptly. And I'm getting that this other person did not see it coming. But they are... Being that they didn't see it coming, it was something that was very jarring for them. And the reason why they aren't coming towards you is because now they've gained the stability back in their life after the tower moment here. So they're, they're sitting here with their arms folded like, I will not allow this to happen to me again. And so that's why they're very stable here with these fours because they've gotten to a point where, you know, they're comfortable because there was something that happened here that was like all hell broke loose in their world. Okay. And at one point... They did not know what they were doing, where they were going. They didn't know what to think about you. They didn't know how to feel about you. Because even though, you know, you guys broke up, they still had these very strong feelings for you. They felt like you guys were soulmates. But I think they've come to grips with the fact that you guys were not getting back together. So, you know... They were left with all of these feelings like, what do I do? What do I go from here? You know, now I think you guys are experiencing that, which is usually what happens with breakups. Somebody feels it immediately and they go through all of these like roller coaster of emotions and the other person may be dealing with it better. But then when the other person that was initially feeling these, you know, all these emotions that were like throwing them up against the wall, um, they start to feel better. But then it kicks in for the other person to start, you know, feeling like out of whack almost. And so I feel like that's what you guys are currently going through right now. Okay, let's see. What's coming in for Scorpio? The lovers. Choice needs to be made. Gemini energy there. Do you want this person? Or do you want to stay with the baby's mother or the baby's father? Do you want this person? 
this Aries, Scorpio, Cancer individual, Gemini, or do you want to stay with your child's other parent? Choice is coming in. There, something has to end here, okay, for the new beginning to happen. What's coming in for them? The High Priestess. Hmm. I feel like this person has an inner knowing. They may feel a shift going on. Hmm. But they're not speaking, though. I think they they know. They have they have a lot of feelings for you guys that I'm sure that. I don't think you guys are speaking and you probably have not spoken in a while. You probably haven't spoken in a while. There's a lot of deep feelings here that I feel like both of you are kind of like keeping to yourselves. Piscean energy there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What's the advice for Scorpio? Ten of Cups. Do what makes you happy. <laughs> That's all I have. Do what makes you happy. Okay. What's going to really make you happy, okay? Piscean energy there. This person knows. But being that they, they feel like they've been taken through the ringer, they're not saying a word. <laughs> they're not. What's the advice for them? Ace of Cups, love themselves. Love themselves. And I think this is for them to be open to, to you guys. If you guys feel like, if you feel like there's something, <coughs> excuse me, that you need to do. Hang on one second, okay. <clears throat> If you feel like there's something that that you need to do to to fix this situation or um, to bring you guys back together, then I feel like you should do it. Um, that's definitely the advice. If you feel like this person is going to make you happy, this is where your happiness, like in an intimate relationship, lies. You do what you need to do. For them, the advice would be to love themselves first and foremost. But I feel like give this a chance. All is not lost here. There's still a lot of love here, I feel. Still a lot of love here. You guys have the Ten of Cups. They have the Ace of Cups. I think they need to be open to you guys and start over. If everything is everything, you know, if everything is falling into place and you guys are on the same accord, yes. The outcome for Scorpio. The Hierophant, ooh. I feel like there is marriage in the cards for some of you guys. There's marriage in the cards for some of you here. For others of you, I feel like you will stay with the child's mother or father 
because <clears throat> that's what you feel is the right thing to do. And not necessarily not necessarily do what you feel will make you happy. I'm feeling like some of you will do what you feel like is right for your family, for the person that you have a child with and the child. I think you will sacrifice yourselves for the other person, like the, the child's parent, other parent. Then, like I said, others of you, I see you guys um, deciding to marry. If you're not already married to um, the child's parent, other parent, then I see marriage in the cards for some of you. What's the outcome for them? Ten of Swords. Feeling stabbed in the back. Feeling betrayed. Feeling hurt. This is like the ultimate betrayal. Gemini energy. Hmm. All right, guys. Um, I really hate to end this like on this note, but this is kind of sad. It really is. Let me, um, let me pull a romance angels card and see what, what the angels have to say for you guys here. What message do you have for Scorpio? Message for Scorpio. Any messages for Scorpio? Okay, there's two cars that flew out there. Let's see what they are. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. What I'm getting from this card alone is. Just because you do not have a child with this individual does not mean this is not the person for you and vice versa. Just because you have a child with someone does not mean that they are the person for you. Okay. Somebody needs to hear that. And then the other one here is heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other what I tell you there about the high priestess neither one of you is speaking there's a need to have a conversation here okay most definitely okay guys so I think I already told you the signs and um, good luck you guys and be blessed and I'll be speaking with you guys soon Bye.